Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In this week's episode of Art History Minute, we are going to look at a collection of papyrus fragments. These pieces of ancient paper have lines from the Hebrew Bible written on them, some of the oldest ever found. So to learn more, keep on watching. Discovered in 1902, the Nash Papyrus is a collection of four fragments of papyrus. They were found in Egypt and contain the Ten Commandments and the first part of the Shema Yisrael prayer. Unfortunately, because they were discovered at the turn of the 20th century, the provenance is a bit unclear. Some reports indicate that they were found near Fayum. The text was first described by Stanley A. Cook, a professor of Hebrew at Cambridge in 1903. He dated the pieces to the late 2nd century CE, but today experts believe they date closer to 100 to 150 CE. This made them the earliest pieces of Hebrew literature ever found until the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in 1947. The Nash Papyrus contains 24 lines of text, the majority of it being the Ten Commandments. According to the Talmud, it was customary to read the Ten Commandments followed by the Shema Yisrael prayer. Therefore, it's highly likely that the papyrus belonged to a group of Egyptian Jews that used it during worship. Today, the Nash Papyrus is in the collection of the University of Cambridge Library in the UK. This collection of papyrus is crucial for our understanding of the Hebrew holy text and how they developed over history.